Hi guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, Bruce is having a dance. Um, so things are a little bit different today and this is the first of my Christmas content. So today I thought I'd take you with us. We would decorate our Christmas tree and you can see just how we do it. We do not by any means have the most Instagrammable Christmas tree in the world. We just kind of throw everything on, do what we like, because I can't be bothered to be quite frank. Um, our tree, so that is a couple of years old now. We bought our tree, I think from B&Q. Um, it's not massive, but neither is our house, but it's perfect for us. We struggle to find anywhere to put it. So it lives in our dining room. Our house is open plan, so we can see it everywhere and we just kind of throw everything on it and crack on with it. We had over the week gone to places like Baytree Garden Center and we had collected so many new baubles that we decided to add a bit of blue to our usual white and silver. If it was up to Marco, it would be red, green, silver, blue, yellow, all the colors in the world, he loves the tack. We would have paper chains over the ceiling, everything. So I did have to put my foot down a little bit with that. We then got this candy cane, we got it in Van Haag. It's quite a big candy cane, but I loved it. It was really, really cute. We did have a bit of a nightmare trying to place it on the tree. I just wanted it so you could see it, but hanging off it didn't quite look right. So we were trying to feed it in. In the end, I got a bit fed up, gave up and came back to it later. But now we do have a home for it and I love it. Whenever it comes to decorating our tree, I always find that we find boxes upon boxes upon boxes of Christmas decorations in the garage. This year I have ended up doubling up on baubles because I've gone into shops and bought the exact same ones that I bought last year, forgetting that I'd bought them. You might be able to see the little bow just above my head. I bought them from a small company on Instagram called House of So Glam. I think their books might be closed for this year, but I did buy them last year. They do sell things like cushions, so if you definitely want to check them out, then I'll tag them down below. There are still so many things that I wish we had added to this tree. I am absolutely adoring the feather boa trend at the moment. However, I couldn't find any in any actual shops. I was a bit apprehensive about ordering online as I didn't want them to turn up and A be about three millimeters thick, but also not very good quality. So I was a bit panicky about doing that. So that might be something that I'm really late to the party with and do next year. Little additions like this are Marco's favorite. He insisted on having this little Robin and secretly I really love him. The Robin, not Marco. I love this little butterfly. I can't remember whether or not we got him from Van Haag or Baytree. I think it might have been Baytree, but I think it's just a lovely little addition to the tree. I just think it's so cute. So it was here that the candy cane came back, but it didn't stay there for very long. Keep your eyes peeled, it's gonna move again. Oh, and look at that, just like that, it's playing musical chairs. This time, however, it did stay in its place. There is no method to our madness when it comes to decorating our tree. For example, we did say this year we wouldn't add the gold baubles that we have to the tree, but what do you know, they somehow ended up on the tree. This bauble is one of my favorites. It's our first Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. Itso 2018. I bought it last year when I bought it for our friends who also got married and I just love it. So that will take pride of place on our tree every year. Mm. 
Now, as you can see, our lovely Labrador Bruce loves getting involved in decorating the Christmas tree. Anything sparkly, like the baubles and the lights, he loves. And he would just come over and smell them. And if ever I was dancing to a Christmas song, you can guarantee he would jump up and want to dance. Tila, our German Shepherd, wasn't too interested. However, don't worry, towards the end, she loved it. She seems to get confused between baubles and tennis balls and loves to try and take them off or just whack them off with her tail. She's not a problematic dog at all. I must admit, I was very disappointed in Marco for not purchasing a pair of Christmas pyjamas and refusing to get in any. Anything Christmassy, he loves, but he gets very into Christmas about a week before it, whereas I'm like, 1st of December, here we go, all systems go. So here she is in all her glory. I will admit, I did spray an awful lot of snow spray onto the tree. I really like these flock Christmas trees, but we don't have one and really we're not in a position to go buying brand new Christmas trees this year. So I did spray it all over the tree and I really, really like this effect. I did forget to film that though. I wonder if you can spot another of Marco's additions, Ollie the Owl. And this is the matching lollipop to the candy cane. I absolutely love this. I think it's so cool, so quirky, and it will last for years. So I'm buzzing about that. Really, really like this tree this year. Everything is just so glittery. Some really cool little additions. I love it. So I figured as I was showing you my tree, I'd show you the rest of the house too. This is our beautiful new wreath that we got from Baytree Garden Centre, which if you're local to Cambridgeshire or Lincolnshire, I really recommend you go to. These lovely little shelves I bought from Wayfair about a year ago. I absolutely love them and they are so perfect for the tiny little Christmas editions like this snow globe. And is it even Christmas if you don't have a Christmassy Yankee candle? 
we have so many of the Christmas candles, wax melts, you name it, my house is a Yankee Christmas heaven. Now this is my beautiful garland covered in snow and berries that was only $16.99 from B&M. What a bargain, you cannot go wrong. And so now all the decorations are up, it's time for my favourite hot chocolate. I tend to make my hot chocolates with boiling water, but then I add a little bit of milk just to make sure that it's at perfect drinking temperature before I add all of the marshmallows to the top of it. I bought this mug in Matalan a little while ago. I got a bit excited for Christmas a bit too early. I think I bought it in about October and had a day when Marco was away and I just sat and watched so many Christmas films because why not? So that's what I intend to do for the rest of today as well. Now I wasn't lying when I said that our house was a Yankee candle heaven. This is a balsam fir candle which Marco picked and it is beautiful. It smells just like Christmas trees. Okay, so that is it from me. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and that you're following me on Instagram. I have so much Christmassy content lined up for you throughout December. So do make sure that you're following and subscribing. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.